Hi, welcome to Platronics. Uh, this is a demonstration of our phase noise test capability. Platronics uses the E5052B Agilent Technology Signal Source Analyzer. This is a common instrument in the field. Uh, the big advantage is you don't require two units, uh, one being modified to a VCXO to beat against the other unit. So it makes the test and measurement uh, much more straightforward. What we're looking at here is one of our high-end OEXO, uh, which stands for Ovenized Equivalent Crystal Oscillator. Uh, this is a very high-end TCXO. Um, if you're looking at the box here, what you're seeing is our TCXO on a test card. That test card is attached to an enclosure uh, to isolate from RF noise and other signal sources that could interfere with the measurement. Um, the nice thing about this TCXO is we get the anticipated curve. It's a fundamental crystal. It's very clean, straightforward, good confidence in the measurement technique. Um, so if um, you get a good look at the screen here, you can see that the device is measuring with 581 femtoseconds of RMS jitter. One of the advantages of this instrument is you can set a bandwidth to integrate jitter over. Uh, very useful, very common in our industry for making jitter measurements. One of the other issues in the industry is not only having the instrument, but knowing how to use it. In this case, we're getting the anticipated curve. It's a fundamental crystal. We shouldn't see a bunch of other spurs in it. If we did, we'd have to determine whether they're part of our, our device or part of our test and measurement setup. Um, in this case, we have enough history to know there should be a very clean curve. If you'll notice, I just turned down a power supply next to the Agilent Network Analyzer. What you're seeing is some spikes come up on the curve. Those spikes are at 60 and 120 hertz. The 60 and 120 hertz are being generated by a power supply located right next to the device. This device is actually being powered off the network analyzer itself, which has a very clean power supply. Um, if those spikes were in the measurement bandwidth between 12K and 5 megahertz here, we would have extra jitter integrated into the noise measurement, which is not a part of the device. Uh, so our, our data would be inaccurate based on noise around the test environment as opposed to how the device performs by itself. Um, so it's not only important to have good instrumentation, but to know the proper setup and usage of the instrumentation. Again, we do a good isolation in power supply cables, uh, an isolated grounded RF box, uh, very good isolation, anti-static matting underneath the test and measurement device.